And the last thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to synthesize um, the theoretical Poisson distribution. Poisson is one of the distributions that you should know. Um, to give kind of like a brief idea of Poisson, um, if you have a, an interval of time and a number of events, an average number of events expected for that, uh, that interval of time, and those events are independent and uh, identically distributed, then you can take a, uh, you can ask the question, well, what is the probability of a different number of events occurring, okay? Uh, and to give an example of that, that's a very vague way to say this, but um, let's say you have a doorway, right? Uh, where um, five people walk through every, uh, let's say, 10 minutes. So our expectation is, uh, yeah, I'll say expectation is five people in 10 minutes. You can answer a question like this. You can say, well, what's the probability that um, 10 people walk through in seven minutes? Um, seems like, seems sort of like an impossibility. Um, to answer this question. The cool thing about this type of question though, um, okay, so we have to put a lot of constraints on it just to be, you know, just to be clear, like time of day, right? Um, you know, we wanna, we wanna be able to box this because uh, noon, you know, for lunch is gonna be different from three in the afternoon, right? So let's just constrain it to 12, between 12 and one or something like that. And we're just looking at average number of people walking through a doorway for all five minute samples across um, you know, a number of weeks, business days. So we can constrain this. We, we want to be careful to constrain this. Otherwise, we'll run into, um, uh, we'll, we'll run into uh, really incorrect uh, results. Like we'll, we'll be trying to describe a phenomenon that is not describable through Poisson. Um, you also see Poisson in things like, okay, well, uh, take a picture of the sky um, with, you know, some really amazing telescope. Uh, the number of stars in a sample picture of the sky follows a Poisson distribution. Uh, blades of grass in a square foot of lawn follows a Poisson distribution. There's an expected number that you can find uh, if you just, you know, uh, take samples across all of it, all of the lawn and count the blades of grass if that's a thing you're into. Um, so let's, you know, again, we'll just write the Poisson distribution, uh, Poisson um, uh, uh, PMF, uh, probability mass function. I'm just gonna call it Poisson though. And there are a couple components to Poisson. There's this thing called uh, lambda, which is kind of like our expectation for some period of time. Um, so we're going to think about lambda, and we're going to think of um, k, which is the number of successes or the number of events that we want to find the probability of to be grammatically incorrect. Um, so uh, you know, this is again, uh, this is again one of those formulas you want to memorize at some point. And I'm just going to say, uh, well, we need, we need E again, as it turns out. Um, and we're going to run into a little snag here, which is an important snag that we'll talk about in a second. So from math, import E. Whenever you see E, you can kind of think, oh, there's, there's some sort of natural phenomenon here, uh, which, which we can let, where we can leverage E. So I'm going to return uh, E to the negative lambda. Um, times uh, lambda to the k over uh, k factorial. I don't have factorial. So I'm gonna write factorial, factorial of k. This is one of those functions that you have to know how to write. Um, basic algorithm, super, super straightforward. So let's write factorial. 
uh, let's, it's going to be factorial of x, uh, or maybe I'll just call it k, who cares, right? Uh, since we're dealing with k. So I'm going to write this in a very simple way. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to make an accumulator. Oh, I'm going to call that, um, well, I'm going to call it prod for product. I'm going to set it to one. And this is uh, back to Keyshawn's uh, query earlier. Um, because we're multiplying, if we start this at zero, it's always going to be zero, right? Anything times zero is zero. So we actually want to start this at one. So I'm going to say for i in range of k plus one. Oh, I want to go to, from one to k plus one. Again, the zero concept. I'm going to say prod times gets i. And then I can just return that product. You know what? Let's just call this fact. I think that's a little nicer. Uh, VS Code gives me a lot of um, suggestions. So if we run this, we can answer this question that I wrote above. So in if we expect five people in 10 minutes, OK? So we're dealing with 10 minutes. What's the probability that 10 people walk through in seven minutes? I'm going to modify this because <laughs> I don't want to answer that question. I'm going to change this to 20 minutes just to make it, oh, let's, let's say seven people in, ten, in 20 minutes. Just makes the, the math a little easier. So five people in 10 minutes is, our, um, is, is not our lambda because we are thinking about 20 minutes of time, not 10 minutes of time. So our lambda for 20 minutes is 10 people. So if I say print Poisson of uh, 20, that's our lambda. And we're looking for a, you know, what, what's the probability of seven people walking through in 20 minutes? We can find out. That is a tiny, tiny probability, right? It's a sort of surprisingly small. Um, but it kind of makes sense. And let's you know, inform this a little bit further, the highest probability should be 10, right? Sorry, the highest probability should be, um, ha, my bad. If it's five people in 10 minutes, it should be 10 people in 20 minutes. So I put in the wrong numbers. Let's look at that one more time. Okay, maybe that's not as improbable as I thought. Um, if we'd expect 10 people and we get seven, okay, that, that makes sense. But our highest probability should be 10. And we can kind of observe this. I'm going to change that to eight. Okay, went up, change it to nine. Okay, went up. And uh, 10 is going to be likely the same as nine. Um, and then after that, it'll go down. And so 11, we're going to expect 11 people to be a lower probability. And it is. It is.